Hello and welcome to your weekly Oracle Card Guidance. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're feeling good under the various lockdown conditions that we are in. And I hope that you are thriving and in good health. So this week I want to use my very old Goddess Guidance uh, Oracle Cards right here. And we have three options. Now, if these options don't really resonate with you, you could just think of the numbers one, two, and three and make a choice from there. And uh, But we have uh, two hippos, both of them with broken ears and uh, this little bear. So go ahead, make your selection and I'm gonna go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, as we always do, what is our Oracle guidance for this week as we go along? What is it that we need to know right now? And what is it that we've come here to hear? And we have Butterfly Mage and the card is Transformation. And the caption reads, you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So, you know, I really feel this card because this is exactly what I think that we are all experiencing right now. As a, as a society, as nations, we are all experiencing great transformation. And this card is talking specifically about that and it links into the energy that has been prevalent over the last few weeks. It's been very much a healing energy, very much about going inward and turning towards oneself and working with who it is that we are. And wherever we are in our lives, there will be some kind of transformation taking place right now. And this card talks about doing so gracefully, transitioning gracefully. So it asks you to look at where you've been holding on to tightly and what is it that you can be more relaxed about? What is it that you can afford to give up? Where is it that the, that which has you've been holding on too tightly to has been holding you back? It asks you to surrender gracefully to that which you are being pulled towards, to the transformation that's going to change you, that's going to redefine who you are and redefine what you practice. So it might be that you see yourself in a particular light or you see yourself doing something specific. But this card is saying, be open to that transformation that's going to take place because it's going to unearth a deeper part of you. It's going to peel off a layer from you that you no longer need, that no longer serves you so that you can reach deeper into that being of yourself, which is more authentic, which is more connected, that being of you, which resonates with whatever you are doing with the world. And it is necessary to allow this transformation. It is necessary to aid it, to support it, to actually be in it, be wholeheartedly in it. This card talks about not being afraid to take on whichever roller coasters are coming your way. Even if there is a feeling of dread, even if there is some kind of panic or fear, let it go. It's okay to let yourself be on this one. And where you find yourself is going to be a place where you will need to question who you are and how you've lived your life until now and where it is that you want to change your life and how is it that you're going to be able to do that. So I feel like this energy for you is prevalent for the next six weeks and it's going to be quite an intense energy and after that it changes. So it's up to you to decide the level of the intensity and how you're going to take this in. The card talks about bringing great blessings and this transformation certainly is. In fact, all transformations usually bring great blessings if you're open to what is being told to you, if you're open to the way in which you're being led. So this card is also showing me that there is a part of you which you have not even begun to understand, which needs to be unleashed. It needs to be unsheathed. It needs to be brought out into the world and uh, brought to bear, so to say. So however that resonates with you and whatever you make of that is for you. There is a statement here which is that even though the land may seem arid at the moment, it is still luscious. The lusciousness sits within you and it is up to you to bring that outside of you to be able to irrigate the land around you and to be able 
to bring forth opportunities, not just for yourself, but for those around you. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the power that you have within you to be able to create that, to be able to bring that into the world wholeheartedly. So it very much talks about authenticity, wholeheartedness, being in it completely, surrendering to it, trusting it, having faith that it's going to work out okay and not being afraid to look at whoever you are in the eye and to be able to recognize what doesn't belong to you anymore or what you no longer are. Try not to hang on to the status quo. Allow it to change because only with this change can development come in. The message here is that if you hold on too tightly to the way things were, you may find that it will be more difficult to let go. You may find the process of letting go more traumatic as you go along. So whatever it is that you need to let go of, let go of it now. And it's okay to do that. This card also talks about looking at your life in a different way, redefining the way in which you manage yourself, the way in which you manage your finances, who you are in your life and how you interact with the world at large. Are you a giver? Or are you a taker? Are you giving wholeheartedly at the expense of yourself? Or are you giving in balance where you're keeping some for yourself and giving that which you do not need? Are you giving all of you and keeping none for yourself? Are you taking all and giving back nothing? This card asks you to go inward and look at those things. Ask those questions with yourself. There is much depth, much beauty that comes from where you need to go right now. So don't be afraid of that. Simply step forth and allow it to take place. If this transformation hasn't come forth as yet, if it hasn't begun in your life as yet, and you're wondering what am I talking about, then I would suggest that you feel the healing energies which are at our fingertips and has been so for the last few weeks. And see where it is that you could spend time embracing that healing energy. And feel where it is that you can actually meditate and, and allow this energy into your life. Allow it to flow through you and tap into it. And if you feel that you do not need any healing, then allow yourself to tap into it and send the healing out to it to those who need it right now. This card could also be a confirmation of the transformation that has taken place and the transformation that you have been through. But there is a message, a warning here. Do not underestimate it. Do not uh, think that it's over when it has just begun. So take a look at where you are right now and look at how far you've come. This card also talks about identifying that which is beautiful and positive about yourself, that which is soft, that which is gentle, that which is which has the innate goodness in you. So that was your message for this week. I hope that helps you. And if you are in some kind of transformation right now, just remember that you're going to be okay, that wherever you will be delivered to is actually where you need to be and allow it to happen happily and with ease. Okay, I'm wishing you all much love and many, many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the second option, we are asking, as we always do, what is our weekly guidance and what is it that we've come here to hear? What is it that we need to know right now as we go ahead? The card here is titled Mawu and it's the Mother Earth. And it says that you're called upon to help with environmentalism. So I feel here the card is talking about you actually connecting to nature. You could actually be, it actually could be asking you to get involved in environmentalism directly as a quite obvious direct message. However, I feel that this card's calling you to reach out to nature, to be in nature, to spend time on the grass, to be, to be at a waterfall, to be at, a, in a forest, to be outside, to spend time divining and connecting with nature because that is where 
what you need is going to come through to you. So even though this message is talking about giving to the earth and asking you to connect with the earth, the way in which I feel that this needs to be done is by simply you engaging with the earth. So where is it that you can actually allow yourself to go outside and walk barefoot on the grass or on the sand? And where is it that you can actually allow yourself to go um, into the water and have a swim in nature or be able to climb a tree or be able to sit and watch a sunset? And when you do so, to be able to feel the vibration of the earth in its purity and in its perfection and that of nature, that of the, the humble and powerful doings of nature and to be able to feel one with that because you are one with that and because you are human and you are part of nature. I'm also hearing here that it's necessary not to see oneself as the harmer of nature, the one, one that harms nature or the one that works against nature. You're not an enemy of nature. You are one with nature and one with the earth. And it's necessary to see yourself in that regard and also to be able to carry yourself in that way, to be able to move yourself in that way and to be able to bring yourself in harmony with the earth and all around you. I'm also feeling like meditation in, um, in nature, like under a tree, would do you well right now. It would actually be able to um, harness that potential that you have within you to be able to contribute to the earth and to be able to give back and to be able to to share with the earth what is your gifts. So one might think that, you know, a meditation is something that you're doing just for yourself or doing for yourself to to be to benefit yourself. But very often when we engage in healing or in any kind of meditation, in anything that betters ourselves, in anything in which we are showing respect for ourselves, we are, we are changing the entire world at that moment. We are impacting the entire world at that moment. And we are allowing a new reality to come into being. So when I ask you to go and meditate under a tree, if it's possible, or if you're inclined to do something like this, I'm talking about one step at a time, being more cognizant of nature and being more cognizant of the, of the being that nature represents and actually allowing oneself to heal nature and heal oneself in that process and be a part of the world that we belong in and that we and that we no doubt have a contribution to make towards one need not feel empowered to do this one need not feel confident one need not feel like you have anything to offer one simply needs to be able to commune with nature to be able to feel the vibration to be able to feel in harmony with the natural rhythms of life. If you want to be more advanced, you could take into account the, the moon rhythms or the rhythms of the day, however it may be, the cycle of day and night, and work with that. You could work with the cycles of the seasons. All of these things are possible and they are more advanced. But what I'm talking about here is a very simple acknowledgement of that which is around you, that which is the world beyond your living abode, um, beyond your, your, your work reality or your study reality, and out in nature. And this could also be just sitting and looking out the window and watching birds or looking at some trees. And um, this this observance of nature is what is necessary right now to bring you what you need in this week. In this week, this is what would be most beneficial to you and what would bring you closer to where you need to be. If you feel inclined to help with environmentalism, you could begin by consuming less, uh, consuming less plastic buying goods which are not packaged in plastic and there are myriad of ways in which you can ensure that you are consuming less of what it is that we all need in this world and what we feel that we are we must have 
there's a way in which to be able to cut down and we can always do that by saving water by saving electricity by cutting down on plastics and consumption in general so if you feel inclined to do so and if you feel inclined to do a brainstorm and actually just um, think about how it is that you would like to um, contribute to saving the environment and think about what it means to you and think about how it is that um, you are related to this. Or what is your contribution to it? What is your responsibility to it? And see if that is something that you would like to actually engage in on some level if you aren't already. If you are already, then go a step further, a step deeper and see where it is that you need to actually be doing something like this. With this deck, it's very much so that this could be a confirmation of what you have been doing already with regard to you helping environmentalism. So I hope that message has resonated and has helped on some level. And I do hope that you spend many lovely moments out in nature as the rest of the week progresses. Much love to you all. Till next time. For those of you who've chosen the third option here, we are asking what is it that we've come here to hear today and what is it that we need to know at this moment. So we have the card Green Tara and it says start delegating. It reads here, ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So I think one of the biggest messages that are coming through here for me today, for you, is that it's necessary to engage in prayer. It's necessary to be able to say thank you and to be able to ask if you need help. And even if you're just asking yourself by verbalizing that you need help when you do need it, it is, ne it is easier to be able to accept it when it comes your way. I want to say here also consider where it is that you are pushing away help when it's coming your way. Has somebody offered to do something for you and you've said no recently? Has Have you always taken on a sense of independence and wanting to do everything by yourself? Do you want to do all the chores by yourself or do you want to actually just be as independent as possible um, and how is that hurting you this card talks about how you can allow yourself to integrate better by allowing others to help you that you do not need to live alone that it is really hard to be able to function in this world and to be able to cope and do all the things that are necessary for daily life and that we need not live alone that we may live in communities and ask for help when we need it and that we may actually reach out to those that need help and be open to being vulnerable and allowing help to come our way and to accepting it when it does come our way. Is there a place in your life where you could actively be asking someone to do something that you actually don't necessarily want to do? If you're feeling slightly resentful about something that you need to do, or if you're feeling tired or frustrated because of some things that you need to do, take a step back and see who else is there that may help with it. It may be that it's a child, or it may be that it's another adult who you think is not capable of helping, but ask or give them little parts of, of the job to do so that they may assist you. This this card is very much about giving up, surrendering to those things that you don't need to do. You don't need to do everything. You can actually give it up to others. And in doing so, you're empowering others and you're not enabling others. And if you have a, a newborn baby or a, a toddler and you're saying, well, that's not possible. You know, I'm, I have to be there for the kid. Yes, of course you do. And, but it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask your neighbor, to ask your mother, or to ask your, your, your sister, or to, to ask somebody around you, some friends to come by and help, to be able to look after the baby or whatever it is that you're caring for, and to be able to take a break. It's necessary to be able to do this. And even if you don't have any such responsibilities and you are living alone and you are, you are having to manage everything by yourself, it's necessary to be able to give yourself the time off to be able to relax. And, you know, in maybe it's not directly delegating, but 
if you decide, well, I'm not going to work today, I'm actually just going to stay in bed in my pajamas and watch movies, it's okay to be able to do that and to be able to give yourself the permission to do that. You're not a work horse and you're not a slave. You don't need to be slaving away every day, working away and um, giving up your life in the process, giving up your life force in the process. So reach out to yourself by tapping into your life force, into your prana and see where it is that you are losing that. See where it is that you're leaking life force and how it is that you can close those those holes up and keep it for yourself and be able to uh, spin more of that life force, be able to create more of that life force and where you actually are able to take better care of yourself. This card usually appears when somebody is really tired and they aren't coping and they feel very flustered and they're a little bit um, all over the place because they can't, they scattered because they can't pull together things. Um, this card can also be a warning that if you continue at the rate that you're going, that this may happen. And so to be able to stop it before it starts. So it isn't necessarily describing your current state. There's a feeling here that it needs to be very clearly defined. What is one's tasks need to be very clearly defined and what is the tasks of others also need to be very clearly defined. Very clear definition of whatever it is that needs to be there. Uh, in the same way that the blue here is very clearly defined from the green and the orange is very clearly defined as well from the yellow, it's necessary to be able to, to do that in order to be able to remain in balance. So if you want to remain in balance, it's necessary to be able to manage your, ma your activities better, manage your time better and manage yourself better. Because one of the other things that could happen is that you could it could lead you to ill health by breaking down your immune system. If you're carrying too heavy a load, if you've been doing too many things and if you haven't given yourself enough rest. So my message to you is to just relax. Just if you are relaxing, relax some more. You need much more time to just relax, to be able to take care of yourself. And one of the other messages I'm getting here is that relax for the next two weeks. It's going to be really tough after that. And so take it easy and just take as much time in to be able to uh, look after yourself. And the way in which it's going to be tough is that it feels to me like you're going to be very, very busy. It's going to be a very busy time, not just for you, but for everyone. And so now is the time to enjoy and see where it is that you can actually do things that make you happy. What makes you happy right now? Would it make you happy to go out for a walk? Would it make you happy to be able to see some friends? Um, I know within this lockdown period, that's not always easy, but perhaps you could um, arrange a Zoom call and have a glass of wine or a cup of tea together. Uh, all these things are possible and they are asking you, or the message here is to basically put that into action, allow that to be, take a break from whatever you're doing and allow yourself to share your frustrations and your, your difficulties, if you have any, with the world at large, with your friends, with your family, whoever is there. <laughs> okay, um, so that is your message for, your, for this week. I hope that that has resonated with you and that actually helps you as you go along. I hope that you are all doing well and that you are strong and healthy and everything is super in your lives. Sending you all much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.